Hello all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chandramani Pandey and thank you very much for watching my other videos. With this video, I am starting a new series where I will show you how to bulk add or remove devices or users in Intune using PowerShell. In this video, I will especially demonstrate how to bulk add devices using PowerShell by simply listing the device name in the notepad file. So let's get started. Before we dive in, if you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any further videos. According to the YouTube analytics, a large number of viewers watch my videos without subscribing. So if you find this helpful, show your support by subscribing it really encourage me to keep creating more time saving automation content like this for you now i am on my client machine and to add the device in bulk using powershell script first of all we have to download the powershell script and i have already downloaded the powershell script and that is in my download folder and i will provide the link in the description section so we have to open this PowerShell as an administrator. So let me open PowerShell ISC as an administrator. And then let me load the script also. And now within this script, we have to update the user input section. In the user input section, we have to provide the name of the group on which you want to add the device and also you have to provide the device name in the text file so let me first create a group in intune portal so let me go to the intune portal go to the devices and then we have to create a group by clicking on new group and here we have to provide the group name let me provide the group name called i just provided the group name called demo bulk add devices membership type is assigned and then we just need to click on create now we have created the group and what we have to do we have to just go to the powershell script and update the group name so this is my group name now we have to provide the device name which we want to add in this particular group so let me go to the c drive and the time folder let me create a new text file and then let me copy this file path copy as path and go to the powershell script and then update this now what we have to do we have to add the device name in this group so let's go to the intune portal go to the devices and here what we have to do we have to export the list so that I can copy paste the device name and save in the dot text file. Now these are the device name. Let's assume that we want to add this top 10 to 11 devices. Let me copy this. Go to the notepad file and save this. Now we have added the device and let's go to the PowerShell script. And that's all we have to do in the user input section and let's select the entire script and click on run and here we have to provide the credentials so let me log in with the intune admin and we can see that i don't have access on the powershell command line tool so we need to send the justification so that entire admin can approve it so let me provide justification called demo and then click on request approval and now what will happen this request sent to the admin enter admin and they will receive the request and they will review and approve it and you can also see that i am also getting a message mail saying that microsoft graph command line tool access request received and this is the status submitted and now what we have to do, we have to log in in the Entra portal. And I'm, this time I am going to log in with global admin account. And within Microsoft Entra admin center, we have to go to the enterprise application. And then we have to go to the 
admin consent request and here we can see that i have one request for approval but before that let me log into this application if i am searching for tool so basically we need rights on microsoft graph command line tool and this time if you go to the permission and under the admin consent we can see that as of now we have only few permission device management app read all permission when i am going to approve this request i will see some more permission so let me go to the enterprise application go to the admin consent request and click on this and now this time we have to click on review permission and consent and then log in with the credentials and this time we have to see what permission we are going to provide the read and write group membership and read and write all device properties and click on accept And now admin approved that particular request and if we go again on that particular application we can also see that the we are also getting an approval mail and if we go to the command line tool and click on this and if we go down and check the permissions Now this time we can see that we have two more permissions group membership read and write and device read all read and write all. So now the app, uh, permission is provided on this particular application. We again have to go to the script and this time again we have to write so select the entire script and click on run. And then again I am going to log in with Intune admin. Now it started adding the devices in the particular group. And we can see that we have a summary called total process device 11, device added to 9, and the device failed 2, and already present in the group device count is 0. And we can also see that we have additional text file which will help us to prove that we have added these devices. These devices are already present, and these devices are failed to add it. So if you go to that same text file, now we can see that we have demo bulk add device added devices. If we open this, we can see that these devices are now added in the particular group. And if we go to the failed devices, we can see that these devices are not added in the particular group and they are failed to add. And if you go to the Intune portal and go to the groups, and search for demo bulk add device group go to the properties we can see that these devices are automatic nine devices are automatically added in the group so this way you can add the devices using the powershell script now let's consider the second scenario where you want to add all the devices so let me copy all the device and we already know that in this device nine machines are already present so let me add the text file again and click on save and now when we are running this script this time it will say that nine devices are already present in this group and if it is not able to upload any device then we will see in the device fail count so let's again trigger this entire script one more time and click on run again i am going to provide the intune admin credentials and now it's, it's saying that already present in the group already present in the group device not found already present now this is adding the device in the group 
all greens are adding all yellows are not found and the blue one is already present in the group and in last it will also show you the final summary as well as the a text file where you can show that number of device failed to add in the group already presenting devices and the device which we added using the powershell script we can also see the summary here and if we go to the report we can see that device already present these nine devices are already present in the group fail devices these two devices are not present and then added device we can see that these device newly devices are added uh, in the group and if we go to the intune portal refresh this we can see that now we have 25 group membership so that's all for this video how we can add the devices in bulk using the powershell script and in the next video i will show you how we can remove the device in bulk using powershell script i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video